that'd be great. I'm gonna wait one more minute and then we'll start. So, um, if you ever can't hear me or anything, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, we'll be good to go. start so this is part one of a build your business series um, I've been in the works for this one for, for quite a while I've put pieces in the group I've changed parts out of it you know the market changes so much um, you know Facebook ads is changing so much uh, how to get clients is changing so much um, but I always start with you know, mindset, routine, organization. And the reasons why is because those don't really change, right? Maybe your routine will change up a little bit, but it's all about providing action and making sure that it's beneficial to you. That'll never change. Putting hours in, that'll never change. Uh, organizing yourself and growing your agency, those will change a little bit. There's always ways to, to get better at those things, but overall, the same fundamentals will be in place. That's really not going to change much either. So, if you can get this this part here, it really doesn't matter what software you're using. Um, you know, what uh, what shiny uh, object you're going for. This is what matters most. This is what makes or breaks basically everyone in the business, right? You always hear that, quote, unquote, like, I don't know how many business, small business, I think it's like 90%. Well, this is why, right? There's always clients out there. There's a lot of money still around. I mean, even during year of COVID, you know, we did over a million. Easy. So the money's always out there. It's just being able to have this initial, basically have yourself in order so that you can grow yourself to a point where you don't need just you anymore, or you, you can't just have you anymore. Um, and those will be some of the other parts coming up. Talking about how to actually bring in VAs, um, the tools we use, all those different things. But before that even happens, before you build a funnel, this is going to be the most important thing for you. So, you know, again, why do we need to talk about this? Um, you need to get your starting point right. As I mentioned, <clears throat> you know, maybe you've come into this from, uh, you know, years of experience, maybe you're brand new, whatever it might be. Um, again, having that mindset down, this is what I call the benefit mindset. Um, it's going to keep you really grounded. You're going to literally think of a reaction. Um, that you take and say, will this benefit my business? You know, you take it outside of business. Will, will this benefit my family? You know, my friends, my finances, whatever it may be for you. Um, right now we're obviously focused on business, but having that mindset, it's so easy. And it, it, it also shows you how many times a day uh, you kind of go back and forth. So, you know, stop spinning your wheels. 
right? If you don't check yourself, um, if you don't look at what you're currently doing compared to what you're not doing, um, you know, you're not, you're not really going to have much to do. Uh, you're not really going to get anywhere. Um, everyone thinks that there's a, you know, a funnel to take, but you know, what's your onboarding process after that? Are you organized? Do you have a routine? Whatever it may be, it starts in this, this first uh, part. So really, really get this part down because the rest of it just become becomes a lot easier, I promise you. Um, you know, the biggest task <laughs> is literally just going to be able to do it, you know, taking the time to actually get organized and make it become routine. Um, it's going to take weeks to get this right. And even then, you're still going to miss things every day. Uh, you know, recently... I caught myself watching, you know, Two and a Half Men, the Charlie Sheen ones, when he was on, not the newer ones, which suck, but uh, my opinion. <laughs> but that had nothing to do with anything. And I was sitting there watching this, I'm like, oh, this is not benefiting me, like, at all. So, um, don't expect to be too perfect, but obviously strive for that. Um, and we're going to talk more about that in a little bit, so... The, you know, the first focus is the benefit mindset. I was talking about this earlier. You know, will this benefit my blank? For us, it's going to be business right now. Um, you need to find your focal points and go through them. You know, you need to understand how each decision affects your daily life. So when you're building up a routine, maybe, uh, you know, you're taking two hours to you know, go through Facebook and, you know, write about political posts or something. And I've, you know, gotten trapped in that too. Everyone does, right? That's obviously not beneficial for your business at all. None of that is. It, it, it's like, it's a, basically I consider it junk food. Like, it doesn't get you anywhere. It makes you feel kind of crappy about yourself and uh, irritable. That's about it. So there's a lot of things you can push away. There's a lot of things you can bring in. Um, you need to make sure your actions become benefits. So every time you do something, it needs to benefit you, right? Um, you know, there's, there's this idea that you know taking cocaine or whatever that gives you energy. That's not real energy, right? It's fake. So that that action doesn't really benefit you in the long run, right? Um, there's a difference between you know having real energy to do something and basically faking your way through it. So, you know, no one to shut things off as well. So, you know, when business is done, uh, business is done. Uh, I make that very, uh, a very big deal for me because, you know, I, I work a pretty long day. Um, you know, Angel and, and Jordan, um, the other founders, they work long days too, but I know they have their shut off points as well. Uh, and the cool thing is we all come from, you know, different backgrounds. Jordan has a million kids. Uh, Angel's about to. And I'm single. I just have two dogs. So we're all in like, we're all doing different things when, when we shut things down. Um, but we all have a reason for it. And all of you out there have your own story. You know, you're doing different things. You're, you know, trying new things. You're in different situations. Maybe you even have a job right now. Um, you have to know when to shut things off. Uh, and I'll be talking about that with um, work blocks. That's how I view them. So, And uh, like I said, actions become benefits. I want you to really think about that again. If you spent an entire day or an entire working day, right, making sure every action was a benefit, to grow in your business, right? You're going to make, I mean, the amount, the difference in your day is going to be huge, right? Instead of listening to music, I'm going to listen to, you know, something informational on YouTube or uh, an audio book, whatever it might be. I want it to benefit me. And when those actions continuously become benefits, those benefits become routine, meaning every day you start to realize, okay, I did, let's say I had a 90% day, a 90% success day. Um, 
that's much better than, you know, working for maybe two hours and then getting tossed into something else, something else, something else to the point where you're, you know, that's 20% efficiency compared to 90%. You're going to make a difference. You're going to get the, you're going to get the work done. Um, and honestly, any training program you do or software you might use, you're going to be successful with it. However, if you don't use your abilities to a fullest, it doesn't matter what you use, uh, you're not getting anywhere. I've seen it way too many times. Um, way too many times. So when those benefits become a routine, success becomes a routine. And you have to value what your success is. Um, I think a lot of people uh, think of their timelines as basically a little bit too short. You know, um, I think you need to have longer plans. Um, we'll talk about that in a bit. But, you know, success can be daily and it should be, right? Um, that's why I prescribe having a notebook. Because um, it's, it's, it's a physical resemblance of... If I let that sit there, I'm probably not doing everything, right? But if I write everything down, you know, check things off, I'm probably doing something. I'm probably being beneficial. I'm probably being successful. And now it's a routine. Um, and when your success becomes a routine, obviously, time is spent in your business, it gets a response. You're going to see responses. You're going to see people um, asking about what you do. You're going to have... Uh, you know, if you have a good training program, if you have good coaching and, and you follow what they're telling you to do, what's been successful, you're going to get responses. So that, that's something that, you know, we'll be uh, teaching you as well. The responses we use, all that stuff, um, and helping coach and, you know, get all those things in line. But again, I hope you see that having this mindset, um, will get you to where I want to coach you. Like if someone's like, ah, oh, I just want, I just want, you know, the Facebook funnel for this, this and that. I'm going to be like, ah. okay, what's your routine? Or what do you do? You know, each day, ah, oh, changes. I don't really know. Uh, I don't even know what I really do. Um, get a lot of work before, you know, you want to bring in clients, right? Um, there's definitely a mindset that separates people. So, <clears throat> morning routine, so everything starts. Um, like I said, I, I have a notebook. I wrote up my routine, morning routine, my daily routine. Um, there's not any one that's really better than the other. It's based on your current life, what you have in it and what you don't. Um, obviously, there's thousands or I mean, technically millions of options, but... You gotta pick yours and then stick to it. Now, if you do stick to it and you realize, well, I wanna add this little small thing in here, just always make sure it's beneficial, especially in the morning, right? Um, you wanna always be adapting. You wanna make sure everything has a purpose. Uh, I view those waking hours about health and mindset. Um, that's where, again, it's the power of that notebook, waking up and, you know, writing out, I always write a few notes and then I go do my routine, uh, I come back and then I write out my goals as I've had a you know, time for my brain and my body to kind of really wake up. Now I'm a little more cognizant and I can really start determining what I want to do during the day. You know, whether it's, you know, a specific, you know, new people I need for the, you know, software firm or, you know, what do we need to add for funnel bolt? Who do we need to talk to? What, you know, what, you know, who are we uh, adding in on our clients? Um, so all those different things. Um, you want to pick a certain amount of goals and, you know, like I said, have a success, successful day. And that starts in the morning. So this is my morning routine. Um, before I go to bed, I leave my phones. Um, and I have two. One is my work phone. One is my personal phone, they, they don't mix. When I'm done with my business day, my work phone is like, I don't want to hear it. I flip it upside down. Um, 
and uh, <clears throat> you know, I'll open it again when I'm ready to work. Uh, personal phone, like I said, there's no notifications on there, except text messages and stuff, and I get those every once in a while. So there's a little bit of cross cross contamination, but not that much, uh, and it really helps because I swear, um, you know, when you hear uh, those bells ringing, you know, like that the Pavlov dogs, right? You're drooling, and <laughs> for me, uh, when I hear certain ones, it's like I, I, I get triggered almost. So you want to have that stuff off; it's going to help you a lot. Now, I separated my phones. Um, if you want advice on that, you know, ask in the group. But I use Google Fi for that phone. Um, and that's a good one. So I drink water, a bunch of water. I carry it with me too. And then for me, I've always gone to the dog park, get my dogs out. Um, I absolutely love the, uh, um, the freedom of that and, you know, watching them, knowing that they're, they're going to be quiet, you know, during the rest of the day. Um, I'm, you know, warming myself up. I'm also during that time I'm listening to something, whether it's an audio book or a video from YouTube or a podcast, I'm always trying to learn. Um, and that's straight 60 or 90 minutes right there of exercise while learning. You know, this is just a very simple walk and, uh, you know, it's not that bad. Gets a lot done. And, uh, I get home. I do a workout and changes up during the day, whatever it is. Um, I've been trying to add this every day and that's the thing. Like you're not going to hit everything perfectly. Um, but I've been trying the Wim Hof method and when I actually do it, I feel great. When I do it halfway, I still kind of feel great. But when I don't do it, I still feel okay, but it's not the same, but I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. But I know it's good for me. So, um, it's very beneficial. Uh, it just sucks. It just really sucks. So, it's one of those things where you're not going to hit your routine 100%. I'm, I'm never ever going to tell people that, you know, one of the terms I hate is, oh, I, I work 24 7. It's like, no, you don't. I promise you, no one has ever worked, you know, 24 7 in their life, ever. Um, 100% focused on something. It, it's next to near impossible. But if you can get close to it, that's fantastic. And then once done with all that, I take out my notebook, uh, I write out three to four goals. Again, I keep it like about three to four. Um, and then, you know, basically write out my day. Make sure it's benefit focused. Um, you know, maybe I pick something up. Um, that wasn't working before, but after tweaking it, it works now. So that becomes a benefit for me. I'm going to throw that in there and test it out. I'm going to try to adapt. So again, having for me, having a personal notebook, um, is very, very important just due to the fact that, uh, it's going to really allow you to see it. It's like a physical representation of do you want to be successful or not? Um, if you take time for that, it's going to pay you back. So, uh, daily routine and mixing in goals. Um, this is where, uh, I think a lot of people get this wrong. Um, it starts, you know, where, where are you in your journey? You know, your starting point is going to be different from mine. Just like my starting point is going to be different from yours. Um, I can't imagine where I'm going to be in six years, right? But I have goals for that. Um, I've been marketing now for, I think, three years. So, and, I, you know, you, you hit certain numbers and you think they're great, but then you kind of look off into the future and that's when you really start to realize that, you know, you know million dollar businesses are great, but... You know, if you have a long enough timeline, um, this, this should be pretty 
a pretty normal thing if you're constantly pushing yourself um, as hard as you can and making sure that it's beneficial, right? Um, again, if you're doing daily goals, like I said, it, it's really easy to track progress because you'll just know. You look down you say, you know, every day I'm not checking at least two things out of my four goals or I'm checking all four and things are going great. You know, maybe I need to make them a little bit more challenging or whatever it may be. Um, or just keep it going, right? And just kind of build up from there. Um, I think a lot of people are bad at setting goals, right? They'll say that, you know, they want to make, I want to make a million dollars. And, say, okay, that, <laughs> that's great. Like, how much time do you have? Um, what can you currently invest to bring in clients as well as go out and get them, right? And there's so many things that go into it. Um, you know, have you niched down before? Have, have you, um, are you a specialist? Is there something that you're like really good at that you can add a few, you know, little hooks to make, you know, each client worth X amount per month? Um, you know, is your, is your product something you can put money up front? Is your product something you want them to put money up front and they, they're used to doing that? Um, it just matters. So, you know, when I'm setting goals, I really, I really like to go back to going daily, but then have kind of like a time, a long enough timeline of saying to get to here, I need to do this, this, and this. And then you can kind of look at that and say, wow, that's a lot of work. I don't want to do that. Or yeah, I can totally attain that. But then it's still sticking to, you know, a daily focus. And you can break it down, um, you know, from the entire year all the way down to the day. So, uh, you know, keep it simple, stupid or not. It just kind of matters where you are. Um, I know when I first started, I was just grabbing anything I could to get my baseline going. I know a lot of people say, oh, you know, you should niche down and do this, this, and that. Yes, I, I Definitely believe you should. Um, but in the beginning, I was trying to survive. And there are ways to to kind of grab at a lot of different things um, to get your baseline going. And then specialize, of course. But um, if you do, once you do specialize, you know, you're definitely going to be more focused. Um, you're going to know more about it. You're going to know exactly what to research on it. You're going to have more knowledge from the front to back. You're going to be able to dial in your messaging faster because you know who your niche is now. You know what they've heard. You've, you know, seen some of the marketing that goes on. You know, you've made a maybe another profile and listed yourself as that niche. So you get to see some of the marketing stuff that comes in. You know, go through their funnels, go through their calls, you know, do some, do some, uh, you know, you know, groundwork, see what, see what other marketers are doing, check out their websites, um, see if they're specialized, see if the ones that are really specialized know exactly what they're doing, you know, ask them for a proposal, ask them for, you know, all the intel you can get, you know, try and get five other marketers who are specialized in that grab their intel um they hand it out that's fine it's just like the whole you know quote unquote funnel hacking thing um you know get research into what the niche truly is talk with them and you know do, do like i said do some covert stuff it's a lot of fun believe me um you're going, to be, you're going to have more response to growth at that point um, because you're going to have so much more information and, well, it technically is going to be less, but it's going to be really pocketed into that niche instead of, I got three things from here and three things from this and two things from this and you're all spread out and then when you jump on a call, you're like, oh, what can you do for me? Well, I can build your, I can do this, 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 and this, right? Um, 
some people like to hear that a lot want to hear I charge this much to do this in the future we can add this or in the, don't even tell them anything and then in the future say hey what if I added in SEO what if I added in this or that right um, once you get to that point you should be doing really well but in the beginning I hate to say this don't be afraid to kind of be reaching out for stuff as well as in your head thinking of that niche and doing your covert right go on LinkedIn and just you know let's say say you're uh, I don't know whatever it might be and start getting those uh, messages in find ones that resonate well you know find uh, you know roofing marketers you know type it in on Google uh, see what pops up there are going to be people out there that are just focused on that niche so they're going to make their SEO if they're doing good SEO uh, focus on that so you'll find them let's see what they do get on a call with them see what they got uh, see if you can get a proposal whatever it may be um, it's going to help you a lot it's going to help you move forward uh, a lot faster rate so <clears throat> this is my kind of work routine um, again it's not stagnant so it does change and I know this sounds boring bear with me but if you don't get this stuff done and focus on having a routine on keeping yourself um, you know with checks and balances you will not be successful you will fail and you and when I say fail you may get to a certain point which you'll hit you'll hit, you'll hit a fucking brick wall and I get upset when people blame the technology they blame the training they blame this they blame that now sometimes those things can affect things but you should have a constant pipeline of clients coming in there's no excuse, right? If your mindset is constantly moving forward, um, people resonate to that. And, and, and they're going to come in, okay? So, I, I hate excuses because um, I've been there before. <laughs> uh, I've been there before. I, I've had those days where I literally don't want to do anything. And then I look back on the day and say, wow, I literally did nothing to better myself in my business. You know, there have been times where I've been sick. And honestly, I thought it was beneficial for me to not do as much. I think that's fair in some cases. But if you have days like that often, it's going to be tough for you. Like, it really is. Um, and running your own business is going to be tough for you. So... The reason why I get so kind of nitty gritty with this is because I'm able to see it every day. You can't lie. You can't lie on paper in a notebook. You just can't. If you don't do something, what are you going to do? Check it off? Right? So, <laughs> kind of, it really helps you establish that uh, the hierarchy of um, checks and balances. Okay? So, after I finish my morning routine, I have my first block. I check in with our development team, you know, set new goals and timelines. You know, right now we're basically checking on uh, additions we've been making or bugs we found or any of that, you know. And then I go through all my emails, check those, any messages, uh, probably talk to. You know, Jordan or Angel, um, see what's going on uh, in their neck of the woods, all that stuff. And then, you know, when I'm in the, when we're reaching out and grabbing new clients, we're, you know, sending out emails, uh, LinkedIn, doing Instagram work, uh, talking to the clients, getting the communication going, um, checking in on... You know, obviously any responses during that time. Um, so sometimes block one can go in a little bit into block two. 
Uh, usually they'll, they'll separate out pretty well. And in between, I like to get up and just kind of move around a bit and be like, okay, I'm on to block two now. And usually that's going to be X amount of hours. Um, block three, I've been up since 5 a.m. The sun's really not out from 5 to 8. So during that time, I go outside. Again, I, I like to learn um, while I'm out there. Probably just walking aimlessly, sitting down somewhere, just being outside. Um, since you can do a lot on your phone, I'll also be like bidding on projects or you know checking on current ads. Um, you know, usually seeing like how we're doing for you know certain things. Then there, um, organize new content to discuss. So this is something that you know I just recently added. Um, I want to start pushing more content now, um, just like this uh, and other things that I've been I've been working on. So, um, you know, basically write out another little check mark and say I want to work on this. I want to make a video and put in the text as well, uh, and then make a few posts for it, and then be done. So, block five then consists of just focusing on that content. Um, you know, I may not finish that day, but then you know goes into the next day do my content send on video text posts like your blocks are going to look different um based on where you are so uh that's what we'll be going over in the other parts of this uh in the next few next few weeks so you'll get more information on how to set these up based on where you are um Block six, I basically turn my phone down, exercise, eat, shower. Now, sometimes after this, I, you know, I'll go and uh, play video games. Um, I'm definitely not learning anything. And it's not, you know, going to help my business, but it's going to help me. Um, or... You know, I'll watch a movie, whatever it might be. I, you know, it may not be beneficial to my business, but it is going to be beneficial to me because um, I, I don't want to hear anything else about, you know, SEO or Google Ads or anything like that. Um, it's called keeping yourself sane. So when I say, you know, if you want to shut off um, towards the end of the day, you don't need to be constantly trying to learn stuff. Um, you can do that. And it's going to help you a lot. Um, but for me, during the middle parts of the day, no. I'm not going to be playing games or, uh, you know, watching TV shows. Like I said, I caught myself once. A few times. It happens. Where you're watching some dumb video and then you, and you fall into this hole. It happens, believe me. It's it's frustrating too, because you think, man, I just wasted forty minutes. I could have written ten more emails where I made a Loom video showing them what what to fix on their website or, um, you know, whatever whatever you're focusing on at that time. I could have done, and it's so frustrating. But, um, you just mark it down, and you know, maybe you didn't finish something that day. That's why it's so powerful. That no notebook. Just circle it and be like, hey, I didn't do that. What would happen if I had done that? Well, I now have, you know, 50 more chances of getting a response or maybe 100 more chances of getting a response. You know, whatever you missed, let's say it was, you know, writing those emails or LinkedIn, all those things, you're going to miss on that many opportunities. So um, your blocks will change based on where you are. And honestly... In the future, when things get really rolling and you have a VA and stuff, a lot of these blocks, like, you don't have to do anymore. Um, and that's something we'll be talking about um, as well. We also have trained VAs um, that we can give you guys access to. But obviously they charge, you know, per hour. And they're tasked to... You know, work with small business niches 
Um, they, uh, they're very good at what they do. And we're, we're only going to let you know, certain individuals work with them. Um, and you got to have certain steps in place. But that's something we'll talk about a little bit later this week. Um, go through that as the next part is more about, you know, building and growing. So, you know, how much time do you have for your business is paramount, right? Um, and I want you to really think about that too, because not only does it affect you now, but it's going to affect you in the future if you want to add a team under you, if you want to build up a development team, if you want to uh, have VAs, right? Um, you have to know what your time is and how much of it you have. Uh, is it junk time right now? I bet you it is. There's a lot of junk time. And I have been there. Believe me. There's a lot of junk time that you can trim off. And suddenly you realize, wow, I have never worked a full eight hour day in my business. Um, I'm talking like a full benefit, uh, you know, actions of benefit, right? I mean, I can assure you, there's very few people um, that get that right, just in the beginning. So just a quick little example what that looks like for me. So, you know, five to eight, eight to 11, 11 to one, one to two, and then two to six. Um, today, obviously, you know, I started at 7 p.m., but that didn't really count. This is just, uh, just, just talking. So, so some days it's longer, some days it's shorter. Um, but usually that's about it. Okay. Um, and again, I'm going to want you to, to write this out as well. And maybe you can only do the morning routine in block five. Maybe you have a full-time job, you know? Well, okay. What's, what are the most important things that you can get done? You can get a lot done in four hours, by the way. A lot. So, and when you do that, you can still add a block one, even if you're at work, because you have a VA now doing that work for you. You know, you, you have a VA now taking your block two. And all of a sudden you're still working four hours, but, you know, it's added up even more because someone else is helping you and they're doing what you're, what you're doing. So um, that'll be in the next section. And like I said, we have, you know, the VAs that we use. Um, and uh, they've been doing great. So... Get a notebook, okay? Uh, I like to use the word haunt. It's so true. Like you, you can't you, you can't lie if you write everything out. Um, and the more and more it becomes a physical part of your day, it becomes a key component of your day. Um, example: I, I I always wear my Fitbit. Uh, I like to watch steps. And I feel like I can't go walking without it on. Like you should have a notebook like that. Because what that means is if you can invest like that in a notebook, your outcome's your business and it's success or not. So you're gonna push a lot harder, believe me, okay? Um, so get a notebook. I have a, a leather one um, that I can change out the, uh, the pages. So, and I was at the year, so I get to see, like, what I was doing when I first started compared to now. And it's a nine-day difference, by the way. <laughs> um, when I first started, I was an absolute maniac. And I got clients, and I did really well, but it was just, it was stupid. It was stupid. So, again, in the next sections, we'll go over that as well. Um, how to... Figure out your time blocks, how to get organized, uh, get motivated, and why I use blocks again is because it, it, you know, 
the focus is is so much better. Okay. Um, again, try and find benefit in each action, and then make a promise. Uh, just have you know two days in a row. Just start with two days. I hate doing just one day. I think that's just too easy. So two days. Just try two days in a row to do, you know, write, write your blocks, what you're going to do for the day, what your goals are, and stick to it. Have a morning routine. You're not going to get that in your first two days, obviously. But if you can do everything you set out to do for just two days in a row, you know, double that next time. Um, do that to the point where you're so excited that you're seeing that success that you, you just continue doing it. Um, it's going to help you a lot. So that's, uh, that's it for part one. If you have any questions, you can leave them in. I know there's somewhat of a lag, so I'll, uh, answer them when I get them. But, you know, answer any questions now. Um, and, uh, you know, again, just, just realize that if you get this first part down, you're going to be ahead of so many people out there. So many. Um, it's not even a question. So, get your mindset together. You know, realize no one's perfect. Um, myself, Jordan, and Angel, um, we've all been very successful, but I can assure you we've all, you know, done stupid things and had really lame days in terms of work. <laughs> so, man, if I want a full 365 days, I don't want, like, I want to know where, where it would be. Um, I've never accomplished that yet over the, you know, three years. I've never had a year where I can look back on and, you know, not think of times I've taken off. So, um, that should be very inspiring because, you know, we've done very well. So I want each and every one of you to experience that too. So have any questions, uh, let me know. And uh, I'll, I'll wait a minute. Do you have any questions? Otherwise, uh, go from there. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll answer your questions uh, right after this. Thanks again for uh, showing up, and I uh, look forward to next week as well. Thanks.